I'm hunting out here with Bob, and he's got some silver in the hole. Woohoo! It's a Roosevelt dime. Rub that rosy, yeah. huh? <laughs> 50, 50. A 50. It's pretty worn. 50D. Nice job. Woohoo! We had a first silver bet, so Bob wins that. He still only five bucks, though. <laughs> But we got one more bet, oldest Indian. We'll see if anyone finds one. <laughs> well, it wasn't silver, but it's a interesting token. It's for a Piper pilot. Good at authorized Piper aircraft dealers. This coin and five dollars for one introductory flying lesson. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find anything else. Well, I'm hunting out here in Albion. I just popped out this plug. I saw a dark stain here. I flipped this little piece over. And there's a war nickel. Let's see if I can get a date. 1945. It's a Philadelphia. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Hunting out here in Albion again. And I just got a cufflink. Oh, if I don't lose it. Looks like it was had some gold gilt on it before. It's got some fancy design on it. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Well, down in this hole about six inches I popped this out here and right in here I got a cuff link. A little fancy one. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Right here is the buffalo nickel I found right here. It was in the side wall. It was straight up and down. I think it's a 1916 or a 1918. I'm not sure. I'll have to clean it up more when I get home. Right here is another buffalo nickel. I found about six to eight yards that way. So two buffaloes so far. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Well, here's my most current finds. I went out hunting with Bob in Deerfield and found this. Piper Pilot token. He found a silver Roosevelt. Then I went to Albion and I found a 1945 war nickel and two cufflinks. And then hunting at the old school in London, I found two buffalo nickels. This one both of them were hard to get dates off of. This one I think is a 1919 and this one I think is a 1923 or 25. I'll let you know if I find anything else.